Welcome to Agriculture Academy, where we show you how to start a profitable business in agriculture. Remember to like and subscribe so that you never miss out on any new videos. In this video, we are going to take a look at one of the most important aspects of owning a plant nursery, pest control. One of the best ways to implement adequate prevention and control is through Integrated Pest Management, or IPM. But what exactly is Integrated Pest Management? The National Roadmap for Integrated Pest Management defines it as a science-based, decision-making process that identifies and reduces risk from pests and pest management-related strategies. Simply put, IPM combines the use of multiple strategies to control pests and the impacts thereof. This includes animals, insects and weeds. The three cornerstones of IPM are, 1. Using multiple, complementary control tactics. 2. Maintaining pest populations below the levels that would cause economic damage. And 3. Conserving the environment in the meanwhile. Now that we've got the definition down, let's take a look at the fundamentals that form the basis of integrated pest management. There are three main stages for any IPM program, prevention, control, and eradication. The prevention stage involves averting the arrival of the pest. Strict sanitation methods can help exclude any pests from appearing. The control stage requires certain measures being implemented if the pest infestation is already apparent. The necessary control measures should be employed to keep them from getting out of hand. The eradication stage combines numerous methods such as chemical sterilization, hand removal and introducing natural enemies to eliminate the pest. Therefore, in theory IPM is a valuable control tactic. But how can you apply your knowledge practically? As aforementioned, IPM focuses on the integration of numerous complementary tactics. Not only does this improve the efficacy of pest control, but it also reduces the likelihood of any resistance buildup. Some of the practical pest control methods include 1. Scouting. This includes looking for pests in the fields and growing areas. A nursery owner should keep records detailing the number and species of pests found. Therefore, scouting should be done on a continuous basis. 2. Prevention. As aforementioned, this means preventing a pest from invading a new area. This can be achieved by planting certified seed and using strict sanitation practices. 3. Mechanical practices. This is accomplished by physically destroying the pests. Methods include tilling, hand weeding, mulching, burning, and flooding. 4. Cultural practices. This is an indirect method of pest control. Control methods may include crop rotation, selecting resistant varieties and ensuring your plants are in optimum health. 5. Chemical control. This method requires the use of pesticides and herbicides to eliminate pests. It is usually highly effective, but the chemicals may harm off target organisms, contaminate the environment, and contribute to the buildup of resistant pests. 6. Biological control. This includes the use of other biological organisms to reduce pest populations. Natural enemies that prey on the pest may be introduced. Other methods involve the use of mulches, as well as deterrent or attractive neighbor plants. Now that you understand the theory and are aware of the ways to implement IPM practically, you may still be wondering why you should consider using it in your nursery. If you wish to produce high-quality, healthy plants you will need a pest management program. When introduced properly, IPM is one of the most effective strategies. Whilst it may require thorough planning and development, the benefits will be more than worthwhile. Your plants will be of the highest quality and you will be able to boast about your environmentally friendly practices. All of this will mean you can sell your plants for a premium and have the edge on your competitors. And that brings us to the end of this video detailing the ins and outs of integrated pest management. We hope you consider implementing this practice in your nursery. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.